Adventures with David, episode three. We need you to speak up a little. Okay, bit. I'm sorry. I'm half asleep. People were so critical, pickles of me saying I speak too loud, and so I've toned it down so I sound like I'm. They made a mushroom out of my uh, a small mushroom out of my voice. Well, people are tuning into this show to listen just to you and nothing else. That's all well, I hear well, it's you. beautiful. I wish I could stop by the lakes in South Carolina. It's beautiful seeing the lakes go by. And, and um, it's beautiful to be able to go to another town to bring people happiness. Uh, at the last place I was at, I ate at a Chinese restaurant. And I, the ladies fed me like a mouse for $7. Four Seem- pieces of wings and a tiny thing of rice. Seemed like a pretty good sized uh, meal. To oh, me. it's a small. It was a midget meal. Really? You had a big meal. You had all that, that uh, food was... and vegetables, and you had a lot more than me. I, you had enough that we could have shared a plate. I had a little more than you. That's true. You even have enough to, to, to as a doggy bag uh, to take off with your little doggy, your little little little, little doggy woggy. Well, I'm, I'm so excited about doing a new show. Where are we going to Greensville? No, we're going to Wilmington, North Carolina. We're going to Wilmington, North Carolina or South Carolina? Uh, north. Going back to the north. Well, anyway, I have to forgive and let live. Uh, I gave a, a positive uh, thing about the hotel I stayed in, but it was the opposite. I, it was pretty bad. After we had the same lady saw me go in and get a room at the Hampton Hotel, and then she didn't want to give me a car to come back in my room. She, and then they ran out of gravy for the uh, for the uh, and sausage, and I forgot my key. We go in one eleven at the Hampton Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia, and the oh Lord, oh the lady said. You won't hear, you won't hear, you never in this building. And she saw me walk in the building at 2 in the morning to get to room 11 and gave me the tea. So I had, knock, I had to knock on the door to get Joan to open up the door. And I gave them a great review, and they have the really bad people working there. Then I have a niece that lives and, and uh, where we were in Atlanta, Georgia. She, her husband... Mr. Ford called up, said they were going to meet me and show up at the show. They never, ever showed up on the show. Then, to make matters worse, Michael Boyd, my old Navy friend, never showed up. Uh, I have to bless and release him and wish him the best, whatever he does. But, you know, like Jesus says, he went on to his own, and his own received him not. My fans treat me better than my family and my close friends, so when I can, so. How did you feel about the show besides the people that didn't show up? It was a great show, a lot of energy. I, I saw uh, Tim and Eric twins, of that they were women, doing really good. They were the, my favorite act of, uh, they really were great. I, hey Alligator, yeah. Hey, Hey Alligator, man, they played horn, they were... They did different characters. They were great. And that guy Nelward, he was pretty cool too. Uh, I, thought. I like Hey Alligator were better. They were <laughs> pretty good to look at. Yeah. Um, and I got, I gave them a free picture with me and a free autograph picture. Look at the they were so great. They were entertainers. And uh, they, I gave them two free pictures with me. 
Well, I'm, I didn't get much sleep last night. I had a nightmare. Oh, yeah, tell I us about it. I had a nightmare. I had a dream. I was um, near Culver City in Westchester in Los Angeles, and Jonah left and forgot to come back and get me. So I was sitting on the bus bench, and I was talking about to this this older man, I was talking about how I took care of my white relatives for 15 years, my cousin Phyllis McKinnon, and then he said he took care of his black relatives for 25 years, and we were talking at the bus bench, and then he got me a, a hotel room because Jonah didn't come back, and then they wouldn't let me come in the hotel room there. Uh, like, like, like the dog don't want to give me no love, the people don't want to give me no love, it's really sad. So they, they uh, the uh, Hampton Hotel is very, I, I know I gave them a good grade, but I need to give them an F because they were terrible. And the people working there that were black like me were so cold, uh, they didn't want me in there. There were black Ku Klux Klan members that were African American. They don't want to serve me a damn thing. Well, let's just try to keep in mind next time if one of us loses our keys, we'll go ask at the front desk instead of asking the I asked the that lady at the desk, and she didn't want to give me nothing. Yeah, I don't give you shit. I don't know you. Well, I wasn't there, so I can't confirm or deny oh, these oh, But she was mean. She was a mean queen. Mean black queen. She's mean to her own black people. If a girl didn't want to give me no love, like the dog don't want to give me no love, well, I know I'm going to think positive. I'm going to be better, brighter, and kinder people on the tour. So I'm a blessed release, forgive, and forget the people that wronged me. You know what I did? The people that promised to show up and didn't show up, uh, I erased their phone number. Blessed release, forgive, and forget. And if, uh, I don't, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm like the Bible says, I'm not going to cast my pearl before swine. I'm a like Jesus says, I'm going to wash the dust off my feet and keep on walking. So I'm going to be new and better and kinder and support more supportive people. Love the beautiful rivers in uh, South Carolina. It's like Florida. They have one large river after another, and they're beautiful. I have a question for you. In your, in your wildest dreams, where would you be in 10 years from now? What would your life be like? Oh, Wow! I like to have you with a beautiful young lady that's in my corner that's a musician and artist like me. I would like to own my own home so I don't have to rent because they go up on my, my rent all the time. I pay more money uh, in, in, in my, for my apartment than people pay on their mortgage. It is. They, uh, I wish that you could cut. I wish there was a way that you could make my, uh, my rent bills uh, shrink. But, and when I first moved in that apartment building way back in, after my cousin Phyllis McKinnon died, the rent was $430. Now it's triple that much. It's more than triple. It's, 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 it's ten times that much. It is something. But anyway, I got to live somewhere, so I got to pay the cost to be the boss. I'm what gonna, what town would you like to live in? Uh, I sure don't want to live in Houston, Texas where that tornado hit. I'd like to live, uh, wow, probably... What about living on a train? No, I want to live in, that, that doesn't give me a lot of room. I want to live in a nice, my, I want to live in a four-bedroom house where I can run all my trains and have a beautiful garden and grow my own vegetables. I have, um... I have dogs and cats and, and geese and chickens and ducks, a beautiful lake to fish on, and I have a beautiful big yard to have a big vegetable garden. We grow lots of beautiful roses and flowers and an hibiscus. What kind of vegetables would you grow? Uh, carrots, beets, celery, broccoli, tomatoes, potatoes, and corn. And I like to have an apple tree, a pear tree. I remember when I was growing up in Chicago, in Park Forest, Illinois, my dad had an, app, uh, had an apple tree that could bear five different fruits on it. Would you want to have kids? I would like to have some youngins, as the southerners call them. What would you name them? I don't know. 
it's the, only the future could tell, but I want a young wife to have uh, kids, like they said, an old rooster needs a young hen. Uh, how, how young do you need her to be? 25. Really? You wouldn't accept a good 27 year old? If I couldn't get a 25 one, that'd be cool. Uh, anyway, I'd like her to be able to do music with me as well and do acting with me. Uh huh. Wow, she's got bamboo here. I want to thank you all for watching the David Leave a Heart Adventures. I'm going to sign off with a snooze, as the Latinos would say, fiesta. Adios, amigo. Goodbye. Well, I'll be back. I'll do another, I'll do a part two broadcast today. That's so, what you said yesterday. Uh, just kidding. Yeah, I did do it. Thank you. Hey everybody, thanks for listening to Adventures with David. If you want to contact us, you can go to artbyliebeheart.com and contact us through there. Um, you can also sign up to our newsletter there um, so we can badger you with sales and let you know about all the new products that we're offering and when and where David will be on tour. Also, with each uh, newsletter, I send a special exclusive thing like a an unreleased song or something like that. So do that if you want. It's always helpful if you can rate and review us on iTunes or whatever, Google Play or all that stuff. Um, Solomon.